。Hello， 我的素宝们，上课喽 ，Class time！ 呜呜呜！哈<笑> t h i s is like all of the vomit barf coming out. Okay, so. I know how you guys feel about this week because you said that this week is the midterms for you guys. So I totally remember when I was trying to prepare for tests too, and I got really nervous because I didn't know if I prepared well enough. But what I just did was just writing it over, highlighting, and then I would read it over and over again. So make sure I would remember it for the test. I have to be honest. Teachers, so, uh, 小时候到了高中都不是一个 test taker. 就是有一些人，他们对于考试就是考的非，就是很会考试啊。Uh, Teacher Sue 是属于不会考试的那种。每一次我好成绩的那个来源都是从，比如说 project。如果老师出了一个 project， 我就最爱了。It's like yes, project because I always get an A or an A plus on it. Or like if it's like an essay. 或者是老师出的那个考题是那种 essay question short answer， 那个我超爱的，因为我每次都是几乎满分。但是如果是那种比如说要算出来的选择题的 ，Oh my God， I， 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 I have to admit I don't do so well on it. But you know, we all have our strengths and weaknesses. So that is my strength and. Nowadays, all I do is grade your tests, and I don't have any more tests to take anymore at my age. So speaking of tests, I did grade your tests, and I have to say that, hey, 还好还好，我觉得有一些题目有一点难，比如说后面呢、啊，我觉得有一点陷阱。如果你没有注意，可注意看那个 Tammy 跟那个 Clown。的那个内容的话，我觉得你有可能第一题就错了，就选错了。所以其实还蛮多人选错的哦。All right， 还有，呃，第一页的第三题，我们讲到传统服装的传统。呃、uh, ，有一些人有注意到这个细节，有一些人没有。那你看到这个考卷，你就知道了。All right, and anything in the middle, I'm not going to say too much about it because Murphy hasn't taken the test, so I don't want to totally give it away. So I'm just going to tell you now. I didn't、um, compute all the scores yet, so I will do that、um, after the video. But I did grade your tests. Already and so far not too bad. I didn't see any sixties. I think, I believe. So I'm gonna give this to you on Wednesday. So, by the way, today is April fifteenth. Today is Monday, April fifteenth, and we have a brand new unit in our student book. And then I'm going to go over some spotlight reading book with you as well. So let's get. Going, boys and girls, open up your student books to page sixty-four. Sixty-four, sixty-four. It's a brand new unit, and we are more than halfway done with this book. Yes, okay, more than halfway done with this book. And this unit is called. I think you should give her an apron. I think you should give her an apron, and you're gonna like this unit because we're gonna be talking about future tense. Okay, future tense 的意思就是未来式。那未来式我们一定会带到这个字叫 will. Okay, will 将会怎么样？所以将会怎么样？后面接着原形动词。So for example, it's like will talk, will draw, will sleep, will go to a movie. So this is easier to remember than the last unit, I think. Last unit, we we 教了那个完成式嘛 ，remember? Has 或者是 have 加 verb 完成式 So you probably got like have swum, um,、mm, have talked, okay, like something like that. But this unit, we're gonna deal with should and will. All right, so let's go over the vocabulary words first. So say it with me. Gift certificate, gift certificate, basket, basket, apron, apron, graduation, 
graduation, Mother's Day, Mother's Day, and Mother's Day is coming up in like I think three weeks or four weeks in a month. I think okay anniversary, anniversary. So we're gonna talk about these six words during class and the meaning of it. So if you don't know, look it up right now on your phone or in the dictionary. Look up the words, okay? So section B, here are the question and the answers. Okay, so number one, what should I get my mom? Oops, sorry, one more time. What should I get mom for Mother's Day? What should I get mom for Mother's Day? How about an apron? All right. 这个意思就是母亲节的时候，我应该要给妈咪什么？那你觉得一个 apron 呢？怎么样呢 ？OK， 我用一个问题，然后我用一个问题回答一个问题。OK， so number two， what should I get my brother for graduation？ How about a gift certificate？ Oh, that's a good idea. A gift certificate is like cash. I love getting gift certificates. Okay, teacher, so I give you my 分享说，我那时候大学毕业的时候 ，when I was、um, graduating for college, one of my relatives gave me a book for a present, and then I didn't really like it. And then it was、um, 那时候好像是奥巴马 or something. 奥巴马当总统，然后他就奥巴马就写了一个自传，然后他就给我一个奥巴马的书，就是他他那个自传这么的厚。And then I received it, and I was like.、Mm. Why couldn't just you? Why couldn't you just give me cash? <laughs> I think that is easier. All I want is cash. Don't give me any books for graduation. I don't want to read any more books. Okay. So I remembered I didn't really like that gift. <laughs> All right. So notice that this question, we use should to ask. Okay. What should I? What should I? What should I? Okay. So what should I? 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 Okay. So let's go look at. Section C. We move very fast. Today we move very fast. So let's go to page sixty-five for the date. 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 Page sixty-five What what should I give them? Um, how about a picture frame? That's a good idea, but I don't think this market has picture frames. Well, what should I get my mom? What should I get mom for her birthday? How about this basket? Um,、mm, yes, it's nice. How about this fan? Yes, I like the fan better than the basket. I'll get the fan. I think your mom is going to like it a lot. I think so too. Okay, first of all, there are some words in there. Do you know, for example, what is a picture frame? Okay, I think everybody should know what a market is. Okay, so they're shopping at a market,、uh, and then they're deciding what to get for their parents and their mom. All right. So for homework, please complete section D. Section D. Okay, so fill in the words. Fill in the words. That is for. Homework. That is for homework. We are totally done with the student book. I know, I know. I only went over two pages in here because on the third page is the flashcards, and I want to wait till Wednesday to go over this with you guys. So I'm gonna only do two pages in the student book today, and then I'm going to move on to my spotlight reading book, and I'm gonna go to page ninety, ninety. 这个我们已经做过了，因为呃，之前嘛，我们练习那个 GPT practice. However, I said I was going to 检讨一些比较常错的一些题目 Okay, so to tell you guys why you got it wrong. So the first one is page ninety, number three. Okay, number three. Did Sally buy some fruit? To Sally buy some fruit. 那如果我要去找答案的话，我直接 Sally 去寻找 Sally. Okay, 然后往右边看就是 order pizza. 可是重点是呢，它是 not yet. So she didn't finish ordering pizza. All right. 所以你再回去看第三题哦，这是小细节 detail 的地方。Did Sally buy some fruit? The only answer you can have is B. 
No, she didn't buy some fruit. 很多人都 choose A. She ordered no. She ordered pizza, but she didn't order pizza yet because 最右边说 not yet. She didn't finish ordering pizza. 所以小细节就是在那里 So the answer for number three is B. All right. Moving on to ninety one. 那你如果看一下哦，那 ninety one 的第一题到第五题 ，OK， 前两题 number one and two are grammar. Grammar questions three, four, and five are vocabulary questions. So you have to separate out whether this is a grammatical question or whether this is a phrase that is not clear. So I will be wrong. So you can separate out whether this is a grammatical question or whether this is a phrase that is not clear. So I will be wrong. So you can separate out whether this is a grammatical question or whether this is a phrase that is not clear. So I will be wrong. So you can separate out whether this is a grammatical question or whether this is a phrase that is not clear. So I will be wrong. So you can separate out whether this is a grammatical question or whether this is a phrase that is not clear. So I will be wrong. So you can separate out whether this is a grammatical question or whether this is a phrase that is not clear. So I will be wrong. So you can separate out whether this is a grammatical question or whether this is a phrase that is not clear. So I will be wrong. So you can separate out whether this is a grammatical question Okay, so last weekend 已经是过去式了 So all you can choose is went, went. A went. You cannot choose go, goes, or did. Okay, you cannot. We did the, to the beach. That doesn't make sense. Okay, we go to the beach. Well, it's last weekend, so you have to use past tense. So it's A. All right, number two. Number two. After dinner, 很多人错这一题 too. After dinner, we blah blah the table and blah blah the trash. Trash away. After dinner, 已经是一个提示了 Oh, it's after dinner, so already done. So this is past tense. Ding 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 ding. So my mind is thinking of past tense already. All right. So the only answer you can have is D. We wiped the table and put the trash away. 很多人都选 C， 可是 C 不是过去式啊 Okay, it's now. It's now. So that can't be it. All right. So The correct answer is D, D. Okay. So moving on to the bottom part. Bottom part. 很多人都是把第四题写错了。第四题 All right. So 第四题 goes like this. Margaret, blah blah blah, about the big cake. It was a huge surprise. Okay. 所以它后面接着 it was a huge surprise. 太大的一个惊喜了。所以她前面一定是 Well, she didn't know about the big cake. 她不知道，她才会得到惊喜嘛，对不对 ？So the only answer that you can have is B. B B B B B B. Didn't know, didn't know. All right. On page ninety two, 也有人错哦。Okay, on page ninety two, in this part, you just really, really have to be careful on the reading part. Go back and find the sentence that matches. Okay, so first I would look at the question. What kind of party did Tracy go to? So I'm looking for a party. What party did she go to? Da 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 da. I'm skimming through my paragraph. Skimming through. It was her friend's birthday. All right. So the only answer you can have is D. A birthday party. A birthday party. Okay, so number two, what did the clown wear? So clown wear, clown wear. So I'm looking for clown wear in the paragraph. Oh, the clown wore a silly costume. Okay, 第一二三第四个句子 the clown wore a silly costume 也只能是 B B. 所以这个都是在小细节，你要去看问题，然后去找答案呢、啊。All right, uh, number three, what did the clown do at the party? Do clown do? What did the clown do? What did the clown do? What did the clown do? Okay, he wrote a very small. Oh, okay, the answer in the middle of the paragraph. He rode a very small bike. He rode a very small bike. So the answer is C C C C C. Okay, so look at the question, then go back to find the answer. It will be easier for you. So in class last week, We started Unit Twelve and we started the vocabulary words. So I'm going to continue to talk about the vocab. All right. So Unit Twelve, ninety four, a bad dream. All right. So let's go over the reading together again. But before that, of course, I'm going to tackle the yellow words. So say it with me: fever, fever, fever. sore, sore, aching, aching, medicine. Medicine, asleep, asleep, forest, forest, monster, monster, sweating, sweating, 
grabbed, grabbed. Coughing, coughing. Okay, so in this unit, we were talking about understanding headlines. 小标题，对不对？所以这个段落分成三个小标题。Okay, 头先是 the cold, and then the bad dream, and then feeling better. So let's look at this together. Okay, ready, set, go. Mike caught a cold yesterday. He was having a fever. His throat was sore. His head was aching. He didn't go to school. He went to see a doctor. The doctor gave him some medicine. Take these after each meal. Get lots of rest," said the doctor. After dinner, Mike took some medicine. Then he fell asleep in his bed. The bad dream. When Mike was sleeping, he had he had blah, 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 blah. <laughs> he had a very bad dream. In his dream, he was running in a forest. An ugly big monster. Oh, sorry. An ugly big green monster was after him. Mike was running very fast. He was also sweating. Then he fell into a hole. There was a tall stranger in the hole. The stranger grabbed Mike's arm. Mike started shouting. He was so scared.、Ah! Feeling better, Mike woke up. There were no monsters or strangers at all. It was his mom. She was sitting by his side. Mike felt safe again. He was still <coughs> coughing a little, but he felt better. Okay. So I know we did page ninety four in class. So please for homework do page ninety five. 第九十五页是在形容里面的内容，所以请你做第九十五页哦。In this unit, we are also going to be talking about past continuous tense. Okay, 上个 unit unit eleven 是 past tense 嘛，然后 unit twelve 是 past continuous tense。过去进行式，然后我稍微提一下，因为你们应该都有学过。So， 我之前不是跟你们讲说 ，Amazon was will be。OK， 这个人非常的重要。Amazon was will be。Amazon was will be。Amazon was will be。OK， 这个就是 was or were 加 verb ing。OK，was、okay? or were plus verb ing。然后 ，for example， you would say， 嗯、um,。Dambo was watching TV with his brother. Okay, 那他的否定句呢 ？Dambo wasn't watching TV with his brother. All right. So this is what we will be talking about on Wednesday. Past continuous tense. 那终于要来到我的第一个 bonus 了。My first bonus is. You need to make a sentence with "grabbed," "sweating," and "Michelle" in the YouTube comment. Okay, "grabbed," "sweating," and "Michelle." Please leave a comment in my YouTube video with with these three words. Okay, so. Good luck, everybody. Wow, 好像没有讲过 Michelle， 对不对 ？I don't quite remember. I talked about a lot of people. Again, grab, sweating, Michelle. YouTube video, 请留言，按赞。You guys are probably wondering, did Teacher Sue read my speech? Okay, I have to be honest. As of right now, I've only read five speeches, and、uh, my suggestion to all of you is. When you are talking about your movie, please include a Chinese title to it because I don't know all the movies that you guys were mentioning, and I was kind of guessing、um, some of the things that you were saying. So I recommend you to rewrite or change your speech when you are talking about your English movie title or cartoon title. Please include a Chinese title. 他的中文的那个那个电影的名称是什么？因为其实我不太知道吴老师或者是另外一个评审有没有共鸣，说你在讲什么。那万一如果你讲英文，只有英文的话，我怕他们会不知道你到底在讲什么。那如果刚好那天你又没有 prop。
prop 的意思就是，比如说你又没有提供什么 YouTube video， 又没有 poster， 然后你就是只有讲话的话，我怕他们都会听不懂你在说什么，在讲哪一部电影。那至少如果你说哦、oh, ，I'm going to be talking about， 嗯，呃，深圳。得得得得得，然后你接一个蜡笔小新，我觉得呃那个裁判呐、啊、跟吴老师会比较有共鸣，然后才知道说哦，原来你在讲他。OK， 如果你没有的话，他们可能都不知道哦。All right， 所以像我念了有一些的日本卡通，其实我没有在看日本卡通。I don't really watch Japanese anime unless they're really really popular， like 宫崎骏的 ，like Cynthia 就讲宫崎骏，那我就知道。OK， 可是如果你是讲。不是宫崎骏的，那我还是真的不知道，我也没有看过《蜡笔小新》哦。然后你们在讲一些什么，比如说《Godzilla vs Kong》，我也没看过，我有听过，可是没有看过，所以请你补一个中文的那个 movie title， 我觉得会对你们比较好啦。And it's okay to say a little bit of Chinese because you are doing a translation of the title. Translation of the title. And then after reading some speeches over, I really hope you know what you're talking about. 我知道很多你们是 copy paste， 你可能在网络上面找到的资讯，然后翻成英文，对不对？因为真的有一些句子都不像你们写的哦。你不要以为 teacher 是不知道 ，because some of the vocabulary words are really very hard, and I don't think you know how to make a sentence like that. 所以 teacher 是其实是读得出来的。All right, 所以。请你知道你在讲什么。All I ask for is I hope you guys know what you're talking about, and you can memorize it too. 这些很蛮难的单词啊，嗯 ，it's kind of hard to say. 然后如果你的那个 speech 又刚好非常长的话 ，Oh my God, you're gonna be in trouble. All right, be in trouble. 所以再次提醒还没有交进来的人 ，All right, I have my list. Justin, please give me my speech. Please give me your speech. I'm going to say it again. Please give me your speech. Put it on my desk on Monday. So Justin, Justin Bieber, Justin Bieber, Olivia, give me your speech. Olivia Bolivia, Olivia Bolivia. Okay, I'm going to make nicknames for all of you who didn't turn in a speech. Okay, Angela, Angela, 不要懒惰 Okay, 给我给我 Okay, Angela, baby, you guys know who Angela, baby is. Okay, Edmund, Edmund, Oklahoma, Edmund, Oklahoma. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna call you. Okay, Edmund, Oklahoma. You can look that up. Okay, Abby, dear Abby, dear Abby. Okay, Arthur, 哥哥，拜托你，你怎么可以不给我呢？你耶 Okay, Arthur, 哥哥。Grandma Kyle, 你也是都顾着讲话，然后只说 Oh, Teacher Sue, I'm preparing for my midterm. Well, everybody else is preparing for their midterm too, not just you. Okay, Joanna, JoJo, Joanna, JoJo. Okay, 快点给我 All right, and Aunt Eugene, Aunt Eugene. These people, please give me the speech. This leads to my second bonus for this video is so I've been giving you vocabulary words that fifth graders should know in the U.S. But in Taiwan,、um, I think it's about in high school that you will see these words. So there are three more words that I'm going to give you. Okay, the first one, exaggerate, exaggerate. Number two, strategy, strategy. Number three, ignorant. Ignorant. Good luck. I hope you write those down and then look up the meanings because I'm gonna ask you. All right. So this is about the end of the video. Um, I know I didn't share anything with you guys as of like what I want to eat, but today Teacher Sue did go buy some candy. 我今天去那个就是店里面，然后我看到有一个糖果，我想试，然后我也想要分享给你们。Okay, 这个就是这个。韩国来的葡萄糖，葡萄的糖果，我自己是没有试试看啦。不过我想要跟你们分享这个，觉得应该还蛮好吃的。嗯，它还蛮大颗的耶。哎，不知道是超甜的还是怎样，我要来试一颗看看喽。长这样。
，嗯，哦哇，好有葡萄味哦，嗯，嗯嗯嗯。안녕하세요감사합니다사요나라嗯，好，嗯，礼拜三一定要跟你们分享这个。嗯 ，please leave a comment. Okay, please leave a comment. All right. For now, this is Teacher Sue. I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Bye bye.